In today's Twisted Pair episode, we're talking about glass prep. Now, glass prep is a big deal. A lot of us are sticking cameras, we're sticking lights, we're actually adhering like things like the Empower shrouds right to the glass. And we want to make sure that that stuff's going to stay on with time. So today we're going to be talking about two different products from 3M that will actually help you do the job better. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we are at back at the workbench and today we are talking glass prep. So when it comes to glass prep, what are the different steps? How do you prepare glass properly? Well, the very first step is to make sure you have clean glass and using something like, you know, an ammonia free glass cleaner, it's going to go a long ways to getting the glass clean. And regardless of the other chemicals that I'm going to show you today, you still need to start with this step. And you have to make sure it's ammonia free because most upfit shops were working with tint and ammonia will destroy tint. So get the glass clean. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this down, give it a quick wipe down. And maybe flip your rag over, make sure it's nice and dry. Now this is going to clean the glass up real nicely, but if you ever had like a hard spot or a, you know, an old piece of glue or something left over, the razor blade can be your friend. Just make sure you keep it flat to the glass as you scrape. And then maybe have something like, you know, glass cleaner, give it a quick spot, and then you've got some lubricant to work with. This will actually get the glass cleaner than anything else right here, just doing this. And then coming back over afterwards and wiping it down with your rag. That's going to get your glass nice and clean. So let's talk about things like VHB. How do you get VHB to stick to glass? Well, glass is inherently, it's going to condense, you know, like um, water. I mean, just think of a cold glass on a hot day. All the water's coming essentially right through the glass. What's well, not really coming through the glass, what's happening is the water in the air is bonding with the glass on the outside because the glass is cold and you've got the nice warm air. It's kind of the same thing that causes a hurricane. We're going to use uh, that, that as an example. So if you live in a dry climate, a lot of times you don't need a product for you know, making sure things are going to adhere. But if you live in a wet climate, like let's say Florida, where they do get hurricanes, well, this product right here by 3M, this product is a, it's pretty awesome stuff. It's essentially a, a, a like a, an isopropyl alcohol water mix with a tiny, tiny little bit of ether in it. So for you pyros out there, it's got ether. But this stuff here, it's really awesome. You just kind of give it a spritz. I like to give it a spritz, let it sit just like I do with the other stuff and then use a different rag. So don't use the same rag we used for the window cleaner. Give it a nice little swirl. Flip it over once, do it again. You really want to make sure it's on there. Start the whole process over again. And there you go. That's really all there is to this. And then this is now ready to take like VHB. But maybe you're using VHB, maybe you're using something like Velcro, but any of those adhesive products, it needs a barrier. And what this does is it creates a hydrophobic barrier. It actually um, creates an area of the glass that's no longer going to take on water or it's going to be lessened from what would normally occur. And this stuff here, it's, uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it, it works with tint, um, but I would recommend you test it in an inconspicuous spot. All right, so that's, that kind of covers how you would bond something like VHB to this. Now, let's talk about mirrors, rear view mirrors, cameras, anything that uses that puck that basically would adhere to the glass. Normally when you do something like that, you get a rear view mirror kit, a lot of the camera manufacturers provide a rear view mirror kit and that rear view mirror kit comes with a button to put on the glass to hang the camera and then it additionally comes with a you know like one of those little breakaway cleaner kits that you would sit there and clean it with and then finally follow it up with a glue and sit there and hold on to it for you know a good minute or two well i hate those things i've actually found a better product that does a better job and that's this right here, Loctite AA312. This is specifically made for bonding, um, glass bonding with a rear view mirror type adhesive. So this is actually a two part kit that comes with one, a primer, and two, it comes with a glue. So how does this one work? Well, this one, you would spray the primer 
right on the glass. And this is probably not good for tint. So I'm not going to recommend that for tint. And I'm going to give it a, a cleaning with the primer. The primer actually can be used to clean the glass. Really kind of nice stuff. And then we're going to glue something to the glass. Now I don't have a mirror button, but I do have a bolt here. So we're going to glue this bolt to the glass. So I'm going to spray that down real quick. Hit the glass one more time. Get it nice and clean. And we're going to do it one more time, but this, this time we're going to actually spray it with this stuff. And then we're going to immediately follow it up with this stuff. So these react with one another. It'll start the uh, drying process of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a spritz. And it says to let this dry completely before you go to the next step. But I've found that actually putting it on while it's wet tends to work better. So I'm going to put just a little itty bitty drop here. And I'm talking like one tiny little drop. Bring this up to the camera here. And not much on there. And I'm going to put it right smack onto that area. Okay. So we're going to count to 15 in, in real time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now here's where I like to test it. I like to go at 15 and kind of check on it, right? It's not moving. Well, I'm going to actually give it a shot and I'm actually picking it up at 15 seconds. Now you're supposed to let it dry for a good, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour maybe. But after 15 seconds, this is bonded enough that I can pick up this whole piece of glass with it. Pretty impressive stuff. And the cool thing is, is to get this off, all you need is something like a, a pair of channel locks. So I've got some really old channel locks here. I'm going to grab it here. And a torch, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just heat it up a little bit. And I got the channel locks on there because the channel locks actually help uh, dissipate the heat so it doesn't get too hot too fast. So, and I'm gonna put a, a slight little torque on it. And eventually it's just gonna let go. Now, if I didn't put the heat on it, it would take the glass with it. There it goes. Look at that. See, it's smoking a little bit even still. It got a little warm. And then the cool part is, the leftovers just scrape right off. So it's pretty cool stuff, uh, uh, re really impressive stuff. Um, it, it's a good starting place and it's a good thing to add to your arsenal. So there you have it. Loctite AA312 and then 3M Silane Glass Treatment AP115. Keep those in your arsenal. Can't do you wrong. All right, until next time.